Hey guys, my girlfriend Jofi and I, we just came back from Rome a couple of days ago and we've been eating a little bit more carbs and cheating a little bit more than usual and so in order to get back on track the, after the last two or three days eating clean ketogenic again we decided it would be a good idea to do a 24 hour fast and the way we're going to do it, it's now 7.30 p.m. and we just had our last meal and the next meal we're going to have tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. We found that for us it works the best when we when we usually when we have an early dinner this time that didn't really happen and then the next day we eat again for dinner again and if you push that dinner a little bit early you're gonna have an easier time probably and um, we're planning to have some black coffee maybe some water with lemon and possibly some bone broth and that's gonna be pretty much all that we're gonna consume over the next 24 hours and yeah good morning it's now 9 a.m. in the morning and we just got up half an hour ago and I'm sitting here with my beautiful girlfriend, Shufi. <laughs> and since it's yeah. Sunday today, we're gonna enjoy our coffee on the balcony. We're gonna drink some freshly brewed coffee and some with some water, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and until now, it's, it's not gonna be a big change because it's like a usual intermittent fast for us until lunchtime. And the only difference is going to be that we're not going to eat lunch and we're going to push it till dinner. So we're going to have a 24 hour fast and we're going to have our meal again at 7.20, our first meal after 24 hours. And we might have some bone broth later and we'll let you know how we feel. If we feel hungry, how, um, how energized we feel, just to let you know how, what to expect. So we're back. It's lunchtime now. It's 12 a.m. and... We're now getting slightly hungry-ish because we're used to eating at lunch. Usually we usually have our first meal at lunch when we do intermittent fasting. And so, especially if you're somebody who does intermittent fasting regularly, then this is probably going to be the time where you where some hunger starts approaching. And so what to get around this, what we do is we get a cup of, we made a cup of bone broth with some added, we added some turmeric for some extra anti-inflammatory effects and a little bit of chicken bouillon some high quality low carb chicken bouillon cube for some extra sodium and some extra taste so we're gonna have this and this will take care of whatever hunger it's gonna come up and then later we're gonna I'm probably gonna have another coffee and some tea or something like that mm. we'll keep you updated on how we feel and on the rest of the day hi guys it's 7 30 p.m right now and we just finished our 24 hour fast our full day of fasting instead of full day of eating. <laughs> and uh, it was really enjoyable for me. Um, when you do this, especially when you do this the first time, you should choose a day off where you're not stressed. And uh, if you've never done a, an intermittent fast, then you should start with that and then push it to a full day fast and see how you do there. And I personally felt, that, felt a tiny bit more cravings than last time when I did a whole day fast. And I think it was because uh, we just came back from Rome a couple of days ago and we ate more carbs than usual. And so when you do eat more carbs a couple of days before, you can still expect some more cravings to come in. And so if you then maybe do a whole week of clean keto, then it's going to be easier than if it's, you just had like two days in between, like was the case with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, still think fasting is a fantastic strategy to get you to drop off that maybe that little bit of extra weight that you might have put on uh, during your trip uh, pretty quickly and uh, so yeah I really enjoyed it and we in between we had after our bone broth we had um, another cup of coffee and a tiny bit of hot water with some chicken bouillon this time without the broth just made uh, some salty water basically like that and uh, and then we also had a cup of um, green tea mixed with some yerba mate tea and yeah that worked really well for us and right now I'm not feeling that hungry but I'm just really looking forward to our dinner because we cook awesome stuff most of the time <laughs> and uh, we even picked up some awesome recipe from Italy that we're gonna low carb and gonna make low carb right now and uh, ketogenic and uh, yeah so for me it was really enjoyable and how did it go for you? So first of all I'm already really excited about our dinner and for me it was i also had more cravings than usual and especially like a couple of hours ago that was kind of challenging especially because i opened the fridge 
<laughs> that didn't help but we still powered through with some tea and for me I had a tiny bit of lightheadedness in the middle of our fast but then I then we just had uh, like a cup of bone broth that helped with the electrolytes to to get back and just feel amazing and super energized again so yeah I can definitely recommend it to everyone and yeah I'm sorry guys I'm really looking forward to some dinner now <laughs> <laughs> yeah we both really love eating so <laughs> we're gonna cook something tasty now <laughs> and uh, in the end of the video I'm also gonna post a sort of slide and we're gonna put exactly the times when we had what and how we felt and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's useful for you. And as I mentioned, if you've never done an intermittent fast, start with that and see how you do. And then you can push it further and try a whole day fast. And I still think it's something that is great to try out. And you might be surprised by how much energy you have. And especially if you've been following a ketogenic diet and you're well keto adapted, then it's going to be way easier than if you're somebody who's still running on glucose most of the time. And then it's much harder because you're going to crave much more. You still have those sugar withdrawal symptoms all the time. And so when you're doing keto, it's like a fantastic, it's a great uh, baseline to have because it's going to help you much more when you're doing fasting, when you're fasting, because you already know that when you're on a ketogenic diet, you have less cravings. And so you can push your eating window. You can make your eating window much smaller. And for us, the most enjoyable way to do that, to do a whole day fast, is to try to have an early dinner the day before. That didn't really happen last time we had a dinner at 7.30 p.m. And uh, then have like an early dinner the next day after 24 hours for us. In this case, it's again 7.30 p.m. And uh, yeah, you might be surprised by how well you do, how much energy you have. And just remember to do it on the day off so you don't stress yourself too much. Where well, maybe it's much better to do it when you have a day where you're relaxing. We also went for a short walk in between. And it was just much better than doing it on maybe when you're you have a day at work that's really stressful and you're running around all the time and a lot of crap is happening that you cannot control and especially when it's your first time rather try it when you're a day home or where you're relaxed and you're just where you're able to control the day and uh, to act accordingly and to then make maybe a cup of bone broth or whatever to help you and so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to check out the slide at the end of the video and uh, don't forget to give me a like and to subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, this was Angela and Jopi. Yes. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. All right, so here's a little summary that I promised you. So at 7.20 p.m. the previous night, we started our fast after dinner. Then at 9 a.m. in the morning, we'd had a cup of black coffee. At 12 p.m. around lunchtime, we were both starting to feel a bit hungry because we usually have our first meal there. So we had a cup of bone broth with some turmeric and a little bit of chicken bouillon, which is just a mix of salt and spices. And uh, Shofi was feeling a little bit lightheaded before lunch and uh, bone broth really helped her and helped us both not feel hungry anymore. She felt great afterwards. And then at 1 p.m. we had our second and last cup of, cup of coffee that day. At 3 p.m. we had just a cup of hot water with a little bit of chicken bouillon. And then at 5 p.m. we had some green sencha and yerba mate tea. And between 3 and 5 p.m. we were feeling hungry again a little bit and uh, water with chicken bouillon really helped and the sencha tea as well. And then at 8 p.m., between after 8 p 5 p.m., we weren't feeling really hungry anymore. We were just looking forward to breaking our fast with an awesome dinner together. I also forgot to mention that we drank a lot of water in between. So also when you're fasting, don't forget to drink a lot of water. And don't forget to take care of your electrolytes. We took care of them with the bone broth and the chicken bouillon. And uh, yeah, so it was really enjoyable for us this way. I know some people prefer just doing water fasts or just water and coffee, whatever you might like. For us, this is the way it's the most enjoyable and the way we, we like it the most. And we don't mind these 20 to 40 extra calories that you're adding just with the, with the chicken bouillon and the bone broth. It's very negligible in our case and it doesn't break the fast.